Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 14th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that evidence of test identification parade is inadmissible if the suspects were shown to the witnesses before the identification. Court also held that even a TIP conducted in the presence of a police officer would be inadmissible. The court has held that seniority of direct recruits and promotees in a particular service has to be determined as per the service rules. The court has issued notice to the petitioner and AOR on plea containing contemptuous remarks against high court judgment and stated that even a lawyer who subscribes his signature to such derogatory averments is guilty of committing contempt of the court. The court has held that while exercising the power of judicial review, a high court cannot exercise the power of remission by itself. The court has directed the union government to ensure that all filings by it in the tax matters before high courts and tribunals are in e-filing mode and that the operations of goods and services appellate tribunal which is being set up are completely paperless right from the beginning. News from the high courts starting with the Kerala High Court The Kerala High Court has directed the Travancore Devaswam Board and Cochin Devaswam Board to ensure that proper facilities are provided to Sabarimala pilgrims in the temples under their management during Mandala Makara Vilakku festival season of 1198 ME 2022 to 2023 The High Court has held that in order to extend statutory period of 180 days to complete the process of investigation as per section 36A sub clause 4 of NDPS Act 1985 report produced by public prosecutor must disclose progress of investigation in addition to reasons of detaining the accused person The High Court has directed the District Collector and Cochin Corporation to take actions against citizens and commercial establishments who dump waste and garbage in storm water drains which contributes to the issue of flooding in the city of Kochi. News from High Courts in other parts of the country. The Delhi High Court while seeking a detailed report on the number of barricades put up by the Delhi police and resident welfare associations under each of the police stations has observed that unmanned barricades continue to be spotted on the roads in the national capital. The Gujarat High Court while quashing pocks of charges against teachers of Surat school who are accused of slapping passing derogatory remarks and threatening to leak a video of student adjusting her skirt has stated conduct against child was harsh but sexual intent missing from acts of accused the state The Karnataka High Court has directed a hospital in Bengaluru to examine a 13 year old rape victim and consider terminating her 25 weeks pregnancy The Calcutta High Court while transferring an eviction suit before its non-commercial division to its commercial division has held that only operative consideration for such transfer is to ascertain if suit premises forming subject matter of dispute were used for commercial purposes or not. News highlights from other courts in the country. A Delhi court while dismissing complaint filed against Kerala MLA KT Jalil over his remarks regarding Kashmir on social media has observed that India's secular thread and fraternity cannot be assumed to be so feeble that it would break on random statements of selfish politicians this concludes the news for today thank you so much